Hey guys, this is Zeke the Defender, and I'm going to be showing you how to make your own enemies uh, for AGF. Uh, this would be a premium only feature because you may need the uh, asset packager. Um, so we can it. This update will come with a few uh, enemies inside of it already, um, mainly these ones. Um, but we're going to take one of these ones and uh, create one just so you know how how it's done. Um, so let's see, I will create a folder. And I'll take my, these are the spawners. Okay, I will copy this one. And there. All right, so here's your spawner. Um, I have spawner properties on it. Um, you don't even need the animation if you don't want to. Um, you need a collider on it. Um, have, however, whatever you're using for the mesh so that it looks this way. You don't have to have it look like a cyclops. I could have this be a square if I wanted, as long as what it's spawning, which I will set here, uh, is actually the enemy you want to spawn. Um, and then you have a few different things you can change here. You can change some of these inside of AGF as well. Um, so mainly you only need to worry about enemy prefab, um, number of spawns, delay, distance, uh, pretty much anything down below tile ID. Um, so remember to put spawner properties on there and then the enemy that's going to spawn which is this other Cyclops here. Here's the actual enemy that's going to be spawned from this. Um, make sure to put character properties on it. Spawner and character properties are included inside of the asset packager bundle. Um, have an animation on it if you want him to be running around. Um, and then set up your character properties. So movement data, um, that'll be, you know, how fast he rotates, how fast he runs, how fast he falls, and you don't need to worry about the jump height, maybe we'll get that in there sooner or later. Um, that's mostly just for, you know, player characters. Uh, idols, if, if he doesn't see you, uh, he'll go through this, uh, he'll either just idle or roar. Um, just put your animation, uh, clips here. Uh, I don't have any audio on him, but when he idles, he'll do these audios. Uh, walking forward, I have him running. And, you know, you could put footsteps here. Um, just make it, you know, however long you want. It'll choose a random one from these, uh, these arrays. Uh, melee attacks, he's got quite a few here. Um... And then attack audio and maybe a crunch or a, a biff or something, you know. Ranged attacks. Uh, if you put a ranged attack animation here, they will shoot out uh, a fireball or some such. Um, and then, you know, the audio that happens when he decides to do that. Get hit. Um, re you know, uh, recoil from being shot at or punched or whatever you're doing to him. Audio again, and then death, uh, how how he falls down, then death audio, ah, not dead. So, something like that. Um, and then make sure to put a character controller on him as well. Um, so, yeah. When you uh, package up these, you only need to package the spawner. You don't need to worry about packaging the actual enemies. So say if I wanted to package up all these for you, um, I'd uh, right-click here, build, and a warehouse. But we're going to just package up this single enemy. Warehouse. So I got it in. AGF. I've just got a shortcut to it. Um, program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Access Game Factory, 
uh, then go to your asset packs. Uh, you'll see there's already a fantasy creatures one there. That's the one um, that's going to be new. Um, so I'm going to just save. Hopefully that'll not take too long. But while we wait, um, create new. Uh, actually, project. This is still building. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna pause this and uh, I'll be back when, it, when it's done building. All right, I'm back. And as you'll see now, we have a single enemy here. If it's not there, uh, make sure you saved in the right spot or whatever you named it as. Um, you can press refresh if you think it's not done building yet or something. Um, so I'm going to load that. And for the heck of it, I'm also going to load Fantasy Creatures. Which will take a lot, a little longer because, you know, there's a lot more in there. Alright. So here. Here's all the creatures you'll see. Um, from the actual pack, but and here's my single Cyclops. You can see he's moving um, because that is what I've got here on the animation, the idol. Um, it'll just go through whatever's there. Uh, same thing will happen to any of these They've got an idle animation on them as well. So let's uh, test this internally. You can see he's doing his uh, melee animations. And uh, let's get an enemy that does ranged to show you a, a ranged animation. Don't hit him. See? Alright. So that's that. Um, now we'll save this. I'll just click save. Then I'm going to load it up in the FPS player. Something's wrong. What did I do? <laughs> okay, I took a look at some stuff and I figured out that he is not going to spawn because I already have a, a guy spawned right next to him. So. So that was a weird little bug. I'll look into it. Um, I believe... I don't 
don't know if that should have happened. Um, I believe we have a, a thing to stop uh, and too many enemies from spawning right next to each other. Um, but anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this and have fun making your own enemies.